Hi there, my name is Matt and today at Moulded Cords and Cables I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a few different rewirable plugs and sockets. OK, so today we're going to be wiring up a C14 shrouded rewirable plug. It's our part, our part number, MCC part number, STK152. So before I go ahead and wire this up, I just want to explain a couple of things about a few problems we have when people order this plug. A lot of people think this is, a, a lot of people get confused between the plug and the socket. And uh, the general rule of thumb is, well, it's like, it, is the, it is the rule, if you can touch the, the pins, it is a plug. If you can't touch the pins, like so, it's a socket. So I get a lot of people phoning up asking for a C13, which is a socket, but because they, it's deemed to be plugging into something, they call it a plug. And I have a lot of people, even people in the trade, who should know better, often make the mistake. So if you can touch the pins, it's a plug. If you can't touch the pins, it's a socket. And obviously, the plug plugs into things like this. This is our locking PDU, like so. It plugs in. Let's press that and release it. OK, so, tools for the job. We're going to need a posi drive, outer, outer cable PVC strippers, and some internal inner core cable strippers. Okay, so let's open up, let's go ahead and open up the plug. Remove the lid, remove the grommet, undo the strain relief, the cable strain relief. Undo one of them, I always do the left as I'm looking at it, nearly all the way and then undo the right all the way that way I can just pull that screw out and put the strain relief to one side Don't, then I won't lose it ok I need a piece of cable for this one I measure up as you can see this is polarised so it's easy to wire live neutral and earth so this is polarised so you must make sure that the correct cable colours go into the correct terminal first things first before you wire it up always remember to put your grommet on it's an easy mistake to make I've done it many times before when I've been wiring up wired up the plug put the lid on and then remember, then realise I've forgotten to put the grommet on so first things first put the grommet on put that, push that down out of the way then I'll take the cable and I'll measure it up as you can see here the earth is set back a bit further, so the earth stripping is going to be, need to be a bit longer. So I always line up the end of the strain relief to the terminal. With this one though, another good point, another point to mention is this earth has also got to coil. The earth has also got to come round the screw. As you see, when that lid goes on, the screw goes through the middle, so it's got to come round the screw. So that's going to mean it's going to need to be about another three or four mil longer. So I'll measure to there, like so, and then I'll bring my nail back about another four mil, three or four mil, and score it with my nail. Take my outer cable strippers, gently pinch down, don't go too hard, make sure you don't cut through to the inner cores, and just round once. With PVC cable it's always nice and easy to, to strip. Just go score, you literally just need to score the cable. If you haven't got them, you could just use a standing knife if you're very careful. And snap that like so. Get rid of that. Now I'm going to measure up live neutral. So I need to take off about 3 or 4 mil. These, by the way, these are inner cable strippers, are very handy piece of kit to have. We sell them on our website. If you go onto uh, mcc-cables.com and go under tools, I can't remember what part number it is, I think it's our part number STK1567, as I said we use these in our workshops to wire up thousands of cables and strip thousands of inner cables, so they're very good bits of kit to have. Okay, always measure up, you can see that needs to be about, about 5 or 6 mil inner core 
copper core stripping, so I'll set that on my strippers, like so, and strip away. Always before you insert the cable, twist the ends up nice and neatly so that when you insert it, you're not going to get any strands splaying out the sides. Okay, I always like to, I always like to have the plug there, and I'll roughly bend the inner cables, the inner cores, like so, like a little trident there, so they're going to slot straight in. So I always insert, because it's the longest, I'll insert the earth, oh actually it'll help if I uh, undone <laughs> the terminals. Always undo the terminals all the way just before the screw falls out, obviously without the screw falling out. So that when you insert it, insert the inner the copper core, it's not going to catch on anything and fray and splay out. So there you go. Earth in. Remember earth is always green and yellow. Live is always brown, in nicely. Always push them all the way in, so you don't have any copper core exposed. But also, be careful not to push it so far in that the, the screw is clamping down on the outer PVC sheath, like so. Now, before I put the, uh, when I go to put the neutral in, or the last, whichever one I put in last, in this case, the neutral, I'm going to have to bend the earth round like so, round the screw hole like that and then push that in like so and then just push her up like that and screw, it up, screw it up nice and tight, not too tight though, don't need to, do it. Don't need to go mad on it like so and like I say before I put the strain relief on I just bring the strain relief across and get it started Bring up your grommet, put that in. Don't do the strain relief up otherwise before you put the grommet in, otherwise you won't get the grommet in. And then I just like to push through so I can see the, the strain relief is coming down on the outer sheath, not clamping down on the inner cores, and then tighten up like so. It's in there nice and neat. And then replace the lid. That snaps on nicely. And there you have it. And as I said, as I said on uh, my other videos, all the fact sheets, the wiring fact sheets, are available on uh, our website mcc-cables.com. Uh, for example, if this is our part number STK152. If you type that in on the search, it'll come up with the fact sheet. And if you click on it, it'll give you instructions for the stripping lengths of the cables and how to wire them up. Okay, that's it.